If your goal is to protect and improve the health of your kidneys, there is only one thing in your diet you absolutely can't live without. There is only one thing that is proven by medical literature to stop or even reverse kidney function decline even in the advanced stages. Only one thing that can lower your blood pressure reliably, improve your blood sugar levels, lower your cholesterol levels, and improve antioxidant status. This magic element, which is the cornerstone of the whole renal diet, is plant-based carbohydrates, seasonal fruits, healthy veggies, legumes, leafy greens. Yes, there is no chance of keeping or improving your kidney function without enough plant-based carbs in your diet. But you know, there is still a lot of people out there convinced that eating carbs is bad for them, especially, but not only, people with diabetes. And that maybe you have to eat like him? So my goal today is to dispel some misconception regarding the renal diet because the medical field made huge steps forward in the way the diet for kidney disease is set up. Nowadays, diets are not just easier to follow, they work better than they used to. My recent video proved just that. 120 patients were able to improve by following a very simple, very easy to follow diet. Many of them were in stage 4. Which is shocking because there are still doctors out there that will tell you to give up any hope if you are in stage 4. But in reality, all that this stage 4 kidney disease sufferers had to do to improve was to follow a diet which was prevalently made from, wait for it, plant-based carbohydrates. So question, aren't people with diabetes supposed to avoid carbohydrates? Guys, I know that many people are still confused about the role of carbs in the renal diet. I know this because every time I mention foods rich in carbs such as, for example, beets, potatoes, legumes, corn, turnips, and, well, fruit in general, I always get the same kind of comment. But Catherine, these foods are bad for diabetics. And they are very adamant about the fact that you cannot improve if you keep eating fruit and starchy veggies. And now you may wonder, why would people think that fruit and veggies are bad for them? Well, the problem, in my opinion, is influencers, tiktokers, random internet scammers. All these people only have one goal in mind, which is your money. Let me give you an example to support my theory. Today I present you with the biggest fraud in the history of the internet, the liver king. I talk about this all the time. You gotta get liver in your life because liver is king. Go on a hunt, first and foremost. That kind of connection with the animal and land will do more for you than, than getting it anywhere else. If you can't Gosh. do that, go to the butcher. If you can't go to the butcher, go to the gro find a way to get liver. So he says that if you do what he does, you will become like him. So we are all supposed to follow an ancient lifestyle with no cell phones, no technology, and a lot of weightlifting done in the nature. And that's how he got so strong and healthy. Arian, just like Liver King. Let's go! And yeah, obviously, he eats a lot of raw liver and red meat. Now guys, raw liver is something extremely dangerous to eat. First of all, because eating raw meat puts you at risk for food poisoning. Salmonella, Clostridium, E. coli, Listeria are all bacteria that you could get from eating raw meat. Not to mention tapeworm and other parasites. And also eating liver is especially dangerous for the kidneys because the liver has really a lot of vitamin A. There are documented cases of acute kidney injury reported after the ingestion of liver. So never eat raw liver, especially in these amounts. It won't make you healthy. It won't make you stronger. 
But now you may think, he got so healthy and so strong by eating liver. Doesn't that mean that eating liver isn't that bad? Well, the thing is, he never got so strong by eating liver. And no, training in the wild is not his secret either. There's a lot of uh, subprimals that are convinced that Liver King is taking steroids. I've done steroids. And yes, I'm on steroids. I've done steroids. And yes, I'm on steroids. Oh, so he was on steroids all the time. He didn't get that big eating raw liver. It was the drugs. And he didn't really care about his own health. He just wanted to make money. Now guys, I don't believe that many of you are following Liver King on TikTok. At least I hope. But YouTube tells me that many of you are, on the other hand, following other carnivores on the internet. He benefits from the carnivore diet, joint inflammation. The symptoms of it are dramatic. I need seven quarter pounder patties. That's it. You can eat them like a true carnivore. Severely limit the intake of plants, whether they're vegetables, fruits, or others. So we have, on one hand, science telling people with kidney issues to eat more fruit and veggies. And no one is listening. Kidney disease is still destroying the lives of millions of people every year. And on the other hand, we have all Wait, these influencers that diet. are telling so people we'll to people. go carnivore instead. And everyone goes crazy and gives them huge amounts of money. I mean, every time I talk about the keto, there are always people telling me that it helped them, that it has benefits. Now, the thing is, the keto has been almost completely debunked by science because it only has benefits compared to, you know, a standard Western diet, a diet with plenty of junk food. But anything has benefit compared to eating junk food. On the other hand, when you compare the keto diet or the carnivore diet for what it matters to a well-planned, plant-based diet, it's very clear that the keto has no advantage, no real benefits apart from the fact that it is easy to sell. Recent study compared the keto to a low GI personalized diet, a diet that doesn't completely cut all carbs, just high glycemic carbs, such as sugar and ultra-processed grains. In this study, the low GI diet group had lost significantly more weight than the ketogenic diet group. The low GI diet group also had significantly greater improvements in total cholesterol or HDL cholesterol and fasting glucose compared to the ketogenic diet group. So it looks like the keto carnivore folks completely misunderstood the reason why their diet kinda helped. It was not the whole avoiding fruit part, it was just the avoiding sugar part that helped. And this is, in my opinion, very interesting for us because you know, you cannot do a keto diet if you have CKD, especially in the advanced stages. But you can definitely limit sugar and ultra-processed carbs consumption and still get all the benefits. So keep that in mind if you have diabetes and you are thinking about following a keto diet. You can get all the benefits and more by avoiding high GI carbs, processed grains, and added sugar. Now guys, if you want to learn more about what carbs are the healthiest for people with kidney disease and diabetes, this video up here is for you. And now you may ask, if it's so easy to improve, why isn't everyone with CKD getting better? Well, unfortunately, it's not that easy to improve, especially with all the misinformation that you can find on the internet. And also, if you don't have a well-planned renal diet to follow. This is why in my recent video, I've shared with you what 120 stage 3 and 4 patients did to get their kidney function back with a very easy to follow diet. It's up here if you want to watch it and also down in description. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.